Hey guys, this is Captain Rex and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be starting a series on doing pixel art, um, specifically um, sports pixel arts. And today we're going to be starting off the NHL doing the Calgary Flames. So this might take multiple parts, we'll see, but I'm going to try to get the most I can in one video. So we're going to start off by all, you, all the materials are going to need is yellow, and red concrete so we're gonna start by just doing the yellow outline then the rest is pretty simply just fill it in with um, the red so we're gonna start by placing four yellow and then we're gonna put a row that goes one out on the left and then two out on the right just like that then next we're gonna put one on top of this one one to the right one on top just like that then put two to the right and then two on top. So, so far we should just have a shape like this. Then we're gonna put two across like this and then make another two by two, like exactly like this one. And then a two by two, but like with it connected like that. Um, next up, we're gonna put um, one block right here and then a two by two just like that so far. So this is what you should have so far. Then we're just gonna go over one, two, three. Then we're gonna make a two by three right here, just like that. And then next up, we're gonna make a two by two, just like that on top. So this is the shape we should have so far. And then we're just gonna put two blocks going up like this two going over um then we're gonna make three okay so we got this one we're gonna make one two three of these little like two 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 so basically diagonal that connect up there one two three we're gonna actually make four of those so one two three four yep that looks good so far then we're just gonna put one on top here next up we're gonna go diagonal so like break a block and just put it like that we're gonna have two two right there and then one over then put a two by two on top of that and then one up so this is gonna start to go back this way to make the the, the C the C shape so we want to make a two by two on top of this and put it out like this. Then this is gonna go over to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let me just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we are two here. This should be a total of thirteen. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And we just want it two blocks thick right there. Okay, so next up, we're going to start to go down a little. So we want to make a two by two of yellow right here, just like that, and actually come out three. So we have two and then three. Then we want to make three, but like in one. So it's just like right there. Um, and then on these two ones to the right, we're going to put two down there. Then we're going to go over five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And then we're going to put two on top like that. And then we're going to do a three by two. So put two, then put two more on top of that to make a shape like that. Then we're going to go up four. One, one two three four two right there then we're gonna do um put our two like this and add three on top of that so two three four for a total of four right there um next we're just gonna put two like this bring three over like this two on top um two like this, and then another two, and then three. So it should hang over two. 
And then we'll just put two on top of these two ones that are hanging over. This is, the this is the shape we have so far. Just like this. And now we're going to go over a total of four. One, two, three, four. And double that four on top like this. We're going to start to go down here. So put one here and then go down. And then... Over one to the right, we're gonna go down one, one, two, three, four. And on this fourth one, we're gonna go one to the left just to make a point like that. And then this is gonna go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to the right. So one, two, three, four, five. So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like that. Then we're gonna go up a um, one, two, three, four, five, six with, with the two, one, two, three, four, five, six to make it a total of seven, just like that. And then on the left one, we're gonna put four on top, one, two, three, four. Um, then we're just gonna put three, but connect up these two to go to three right there and then over one now we're gonna make one diagonal and then diagonal to that diagonal we want to put a two by two square right here with one coming off like this and up then we're gonna bring it over three one two three then we're gonna go diagonal up one and so we put three we now we want seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just fill in the row underneath. So that is basically one half of it all finished that quick. So pretty simple. I know it's going fast, but you can just pause or slow down the video or just look here to make sure you guys did it um, right. Okay, so now we're gonna start back down the bottom and then work our way up to the other side. This side is going to be more complicated since it has like all the different flame pattern and stuff like that. So let's begin. This is just like the C side and it comes into the flames over here. So we're gonna put two, we're gonna leave this one to the left and then put two and we're gonna put that two more times. Then we're gonna put two right here, then one up one over, up, and then one diagonal, and then one diagonal again. So it should look like that. Now we're gonna extend this um, two, two wide thing over by three. One, two, three, just like that. Then we're gonna put um, two blocks just there, then two again, and then over one. Now we're gonna go up four, put four on top of this one. One, two, three, four. And then we're just gonna put a two by two on top of that. And then another two by two to the right. So we should have four blocks here. And then we're gonna bring this one out one. Then we're gonna put three below this like that. And then three below this so it's going in the diagonal and then we're just gonna put another three below this and then bring it out two just like that that's one of the little flames that go off so next up we're gonna leave a gap of two right there and we're gonna put one two three on top and then we're just gonna put a three by two right here on top of that we want to put one block to the left right there and one block to the right down here. We're gonna bring this one down and then bring it over another five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're just gonna put three on top, one here and two over. Gonna put three on top of this, leaving this one. Bring three like that. Bring two, which it makes a diagonal there. And then we're gonna put four on top of this. One, two, three, four. And right here, we're just gonna add three. 
so there should be a one block gap in this. This is not going to be filled in. This should be a gap that just goes like straight through like this. Okay, next little part. We're going to leave one block right here. And go up two and then over one so it should connect there. Um, while we're here, we can just fill in these two blocks with red right there. We can go up two right here. So let me just get back. Yep, up two, put another two beside it, then up one like that. And then we're going to put a two by two on top of this one right there and then one to the left. And now we're gonna go over one, two, three, four, five, six here to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then on top of that, we're gonna put five and then five again. So it should look like that. Now we're gonna go off to the left of this two by two and go over one, two, three, four, just like that. And then we're gonna leave these two and then put three so it's diagonal like this and then another three and we're going to put a three but going this way so leave those two right there then we're going to put a two and a two just like this and then we're just going to put two more on top of this and put one to the right and then two to the left okay so now what we are gonna do is put one, two, like this, and then put three going over like that, and then one over here, then put two, and then another two, then one on top. And we're gonna bring that over one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then on these back two, we want to bring it down one and bring it over one. We're going to put two on the bottom of this. So leave these two blocks and then put two. Yeah, leave those two blocks and then put two right there. And then we're just going to extend this down two more blocks right there. We're going to put two right here to the right and then down one and over one. Just like that. Um, right here on the second block up, we're going to bring it over three. And this on the bottom can just come over to come diagonal to this one right there. And we can just fill in this area with our red. So this is what you should have so far in terms of building it. Hopefully it's e easy enough to follow along with. Um, but we're going to finish it off here. So yeah, well, without further ado, let's finish it off. Okay, so we're going to leave two blocks right here. And then we're going to put two coming up to three right there. Then we're going to bring it over one, two, three, four, five, six to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's bring it over seven, actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to go up, up diagonal one right here, and then up diagonal two, then put one to the right, fill this in below it, and then put one right there. And we can just bring this line right so it goes out like this. So this is just a little point. And then where we have this, we're gonna put go to the block to the left where we have this, so go one to the left. Gonna put one, two, three, four, and then two, and then one diagonal, just right there. Then we're gonna put a two by two right here, another two by two right there beside it. We're gonna put two going up like this, two going over, and then we can just bring this across right here, like that. So yeah, and actually we want to leave a gap of four right here. So bring that over until you have a gap of four 
should have a gap of four over there. So, yep, that is correct. All right. So, that means we have completed the Calgary Flames logo. It is looking very good. So, well, we haven't really completed it. Now, what we just got to do, I'll just give you guys an overview of how it should look like. In case I was going too fast, I'll start up at the beginning and just go around. So, you guys can get an overview of what this should look like. Just feel free to pause the video anywhere that you need to see an area or any of that stuff like that. So, yeah, here it is. So this is the top area and then we're going to start going down here where we have all the flames. It might have got a bit complicated there. I just don't want to make a tutorial really long and go layer by layer. It's kind of more of a like showcase or quick overview rather than tutorial, but um, if you guys are pretty good at pixel art and experience, you guys should understand it. Okay, so now we just got to fill in all this empty area with red. So if you guys enjoyed this, uh, make sure to comment down below if you would like another one because there will be one coming on the I'm gonna be doing the Edmonton Oilers next um, that logo does not look as good as this one because of it has words in it and stuff but um, hopefully you guys still enjoyed it um, I'm trying to keep it like 50 blocks by 50 blocks so it's not huge but then it's not too small so it'll because um, it, if it's too small it, I don't think it will look as good and as detailed so yeah let's just fill all this red in very simple that we only have to use two blocks here. Two different materials. You saw. Yeah, the when I was creating this, what the hardest part was, was the flame area. Because it's like so, like many different points and all that kind of stuff. Um, that um, was a bit tricky to figure out. Um, but the the C was pretty the C area is pretty good but yeah and just to be clear this area is going to stay open right there it just is open that's how it is because if you looked at the logo that wouldn't have any color in it it'd just be like white so just make sure not to fill in that little area there I believe we're almost to the top Filling this in, yeah, a little bit. We're getting there. We are getting there. I really could cut this, but, you know, it's cool just to build along with people sometimes. And just, yeah. So, um, pretty quick, quicker than I thought. This is my first one time making a pixel art tutorial like, like this. So... We're almost decently through most of it. I'll keep that area for the end. And then we'll be able to look at our work and see the final result of what it should look like, which is always the best part to just look back and see what you built. So let's just, come on. Oh, and then we just got that little area down there to fill in. Here it is. Let's fill her in. Yeah, so the Edmonton one probably will take longer. There is more colors and it's a circle. So we'll have to make the circle first and all that. So there's going to be a lot of circles in that one. Might take two parts maybe. But we'll see what happens when we do it. Okay, so here is the Calgary's Flames logo in all its glory. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pixel art tutorial. I hope you guys like this in whatever world you put it in. It definitely does look pretty sick in my opinion. One of the, the coolest logos in the NHL. So yeah, um, here it is. Thank you guys all for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video or pixel art tutorial. So yeah. Goodbye, everybody.